Dr. Chow, straight from surgery for our first Pro Football Doc video. That's why we've got you. You're the surgeon. You're showing me up here. You look all nice, and I'm in scrubs, but uh, my excuse is we're going to be talking OBJ, so it's giant blue. We, we've, got, we've got to start with OBJ. He plays for the Giants. He's OBJ. It was Monday Night Football, and he left the game in the first half after he was hit. Man, Twitter almost melted down. What? Here we are, a couple days later. What do you think? Well, I think he's very lucky. You know, the, the player dove down low. You worry about knee injuries, and thankfully he escaped that. But his cleat did get caught, and the worry there by video is a high ankle sprain. Hopefully mild, but clearly looks to be a high ankle sprain. So what would a mild high ankle sprain mean about his availability and effectiveness on week one? Depends on how much swelling there is. And what's normal after a high ankle is that you feel pretty good and you don't swell up immediately compared to a regular, quote, low ankle where you roll it like a basketball injury. Those swell up quickly. These don't swell. So it doesn't shock me that he was able to jog in the locker room and feel okay. If he could jog into the locker room a day or two later, I'd say he might be out of the woods. Which we haven't seen. Which we haven't seen. And he wasn't even standing at practice today. ESPN report that he was very, very sore and citing sources that he may not play in week one. And that would be normal to not have that much soreness immediately for a high ankle and then potentially have it develop overnight. That's a normal scenario. So I don't think this is a giant smoke screen to throw the Cowboys off. The question is, how will this swelling subside? And will he make it for week one? And if he does make it for week one, will he be 100%? Because injuries don't heal overnight. Not like one day you can't, the next day you can do everything. And your, the effectiveness part comes into play. You, like you talked about, he jogged into the locker room in a straight line and with a high ankle sprain the way the ligaments are affected it's about the cutting that a receiver has to do yes and the receiver getting open is about the separation and that's the cutting it isn't about a, a rounded turn as you jog yeah. two miles an hour into the locker room all right i want to talk about the a player on the giants week one opponent the dallas cowboys Jalen Smith, and you have been all over this, and you're a huge fan of this kid, but you've been very realistic about the linebacker out of Notre Dame's major injury suffered in the Fiesta Bowl after the 2016 season. Absolutely, and unfortunately for this poor kid, when he injured his knee, his LCL and ACL, not MCL, injured the nerve on the outside, the perineal nerve, and nerves don't always recover regularly. It's been 18 plus months, 20 months since his injury, and uh, it's still not 100%, and hats off to him for working so hard and making it back. However, I think he's not the same guy yet, and I hope it's yet and that he'll get there. And you say that because, despite the fact the Cowboys have been singing his praises, he played in his first NFL preseason game, and you've already said it. Major props to this kid for getting this far, but what did you see in that game? Well, I'm not trying to be too critical, but medically... He played like I thought he would play. A great talent, but he didn't have the ability to push off as, as much on that left ankle, that left foot, and change directions. If you go to the first series of the second quarter, uh, Colts first and 10 on their 10 yard line, and maybe he got a little tired here because it was his third series, there's a pass into the flat. And as he reacts to the ball, the linebacker next to him, his teammate, he's a yard in front of him and they're both about five yards away from the player. But Damian Wilson, 57, makes the tackle two yards ahead of Jalen Smith. He gets there that much more quickly. I really hope that will change over time. The next play, and especially the third play in the second quarter, you see him maybe take a poor angle overrun. That's to be expected. He hasn't played football in 600 days, <laughs> and he's jumped the level to the NFL. But as he tried to recover, especially on that third play, he tried to lunge to his right, but normally you do that by pushing off your left side. He lunged to his right by pushing off his right side, favoring his left foot. So those are two signs that he still has a ways to go, and we hope he'll get there. Quickly, I want to get into uh, another player, and I realize we're keeping this all in the NFC East, but the Washington Redskins tight end Jordan Reed, prolific talent when he's healthy. He was on PUP for much of training camp, just came off this week. I think that it has been mostly described as turf toe, which is a sprain of the big toe. Uh, the Redskins need him. Everyone's excited. Yay. You say there may be a reason he's not out of the woods. Well, two things. First of all, 
it's just a toe, right? But that big toe is responsible for all your push off and cutting and how you get separation as a tight end. So it's vital. And then the other thing is there was one report where Jordan Reed himself was quoted and used the word fracture related to his We had never seen that. Maybe a slip of the tongue. Maybe a slip of the tongue. The bone that I would be worried about in a big toe, turf toe situation that's fractured is the sesamoid bone. There are two little floating bones underneath there. The problem is those bones are so small, it's very difficult to heal. They're too small most of the time to put a screw into, and you just have to hope that they heal. And sometimes they linger. Sometimes players have to play with it. I hope it's not fractured. If it was fractured, I hope it's healed. But this is an injury that still could linger, so I'm not sure he's out of the woods yet. And what his effectiveness would be? Is it a pain tolerance thing, Dr. Chow? It is a pain okay. tolerance thing, but it's so painful sometimes that it, it hampers your effectiveness. All right, there it was, our NFC East report. Pro Football Doc.